Hey guys, welcome to Super Rad Podcast number 7. I'm Tooth. I'm Nick. And today for the music we have Resident Evil 2 for the PlayStation 1. The, uh... What would you call this? The main hall theme? The police station theme, I guess? Yeah, police station theme, I guess. Okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, so we're not going to do halls today. Uh, I think we're going to actually be taking that out of the podcast, and we're going to be doing a monthly video of just all the stuff that we've picked up. So we're going to take the halls section out. Um, if you guys, you know, want to stay in or, you know, whatever, let us know. We want to hear from you guys, obviously, on everything. Um, so, yeah. Games you've been playing? Uh, I've been playing Rogue Galaxy. Yeah, and we're going to talk about that last episode, but uh, we forgot. So, give give me the lowdown on that. Things kind of spiraled out of control last episode, if yeah, I remember the last, correctly. The last one got a little real. That's what happens when you bring Drunk Landon on board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um... I went into that right after Chrono Cross, and I've actually owned the game for three years, but it was just sitting there collecting dust. What made you uh, decide to jump into it? Just, you were done with Chrono Cross, and... Yeah, I was on a bit of an RPG kick. When are you? A lot. <laughs> I was continuing to be on my lifelong RPG kick, and I was like, you know what, man, this has gone on long enough, it's time to fucking play this game. And I've heard good things about it, too. So I got right into that. I'm about 13 hours in right now. Nice. It's in chapters. I'm in chapter six. How many uh, discs is it? It's one disc. Oh, okay. It's a PS2 game. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it's a pretty big game. There's, It's got this anime cel-shaded style to it that I'm not super fond of. Oh, I kind of like that. Kind of like, do you ever play Dark Cloud? Yeah, it sort of looks like Dark Cloud. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I actually like that uh, that graph, those graphics. I guess it's, I don't know, it's a little cartoony for my taste. It's very PS2. Yeah. I, I do like it, though. It's just, it's not my favorite style. And, uh, yeah, I've found it hard to, like, I'm not super involved in the storyline or any of the characters. But, it, I mean, it's enough. It gets the job done. To, like, to give you a reason to keep playing? Yeah, it's an action RPG. Um, it's random battles, but the fighting style is a lot like uh, Star Ocean. Or, like, Illusion of Gaia or something like no, that? No, not that much, oh, okay. because it is random battles. Oh, that's it's right. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. But um, once you're in there, it's almost, you know, like a sort of somewhat of a fighting game system once you're in there. Okay, yeah, you can yeah, you, you can run around the enemy and, and yeah. stuff like that. If you've ever played any of the Tales games for, like, GameCube. Yeah. Oh, it's Tales real, of Symphonia. It's real similar to that. Oh, man, I love Tales of Symphonia. So you know what I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah Tales, sure. Tales of Symphonia is a really great game. Super underrated GameCube game. If you guys ever see it out there, get it. But it's a little more three-dimensional. Well, Tales of Symphonia is obviously three-dimensional, but a lot of the fights are almost... 2D, just the way it's laid out. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to put it into words, but yeah, right. this is this is a little more three dimensional. Your two allies control themselves, and you control one playable character, but you can choose whoever you want to be playing. You can make them do stuff. It's sort of like the gambits from Final Fantasy XII, but okay. not that intricate at all. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty cool. The fighting's fun. There's a ton of items. You learn abilities on this grid that's sort of like the sphere grid from Final Fantasy right, X. that's what I was just going to ask. And you place items on it, which... Yeah, like the spheres or whatever. Yeah, from and you learn your abilities that way. You level up the characters that you don't currently have in your party. Level up along with your characters. I love when games do that. It's so much better. And in this game... I figured out why they had to do it because you never, at least, like I said, I'm 13 hours in and I haven't chose voluntarily who's been in my party yet. It's oh, always okay. been. Oh, okay. So for the story's yeah. sake, uh, certain characters get plugged in to yeah, advance yeah. the story. The game has always done it for me. And again, similar to Final Fantasy X, you don't name your characters either because of the voice acted parts. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It seems. I feel like I've barely even scratched the surface. Cool. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be playing that pretty much exclusively, and I and I do like it so far. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna get a full review out of you when uh, when it's done then. Whether you like it or not. Yep. Whether you like it or not, which goes right into what I want to talk about: uh, the future of Super Red. Um, we're not just gonna be doing podcasts. That's what we started with. But when I started this, 
I had like a much bigger scheme, much bigger idea of things to do and like how they're going to develop and you know so forth and whatever. And since, you know, I've had help, you know, Nick obviously being, you know, my main partner in it, and then bring other people on board, such as uh, my brother Mike and Drew, and then Mark for graphics and stuff. Um, we're, I just got a bunch of, I ordered a bunch of video equipment, and we're going to go just head first into videos. Um, basically, we have a couple shows planned. Going to jump right in. Yep, head first. <laughs> We'll see if into the, uh, into the shallow end. Uh, yeah, we're gonna see if any of that uh, film film student uh, carries over into actually working, especially with editing, which should be interesting. But yeah, we're just gonna go right into videos. Um, we've talked about videos and that we had planned in past podcasts, like gameplay videos, right? Gameplay videos, reviews, and stuff. Um, First one is probably going to be a haul video of what we've gotten over the last month, and I think that, that one's just going to be me and my brother because Mike or uh, Nick hasn't really uh, picked up too much. So I think that'll just be me and Mike. Um, you guys can that'll be coming out real soon, like probably this week after I get the podcast up. Uh, after that, I have we have an idea for kind of like a how-to uh, show where say broken your stuff's broken or whatever we'll teach you how to fix things or we'll teach you how to mod things we'll teach you little tricks and stuff that you can that are that are like relatively easy to do but it'll be so much more helpful to be able to visually yeah and to be able to do it yourself and not have to you know go pay someone you know take your system in or have nintendo that you have at your house and like it doesn't start up and be like sweet i can never play this again we'll teach you how to fix that thing so the first video and they had how to we don't have a name for it yet but the first one is going to be i've talked about this before i think in podcast four it's going to be uh me teaching you how to fix the gw rom on a dreamcast which is usually the cause of um not being able to read discs so if you have that trouble a lot i'm going to teach you how to fix that and then the second one nick's going to show you how to play Super Famicom games on an American Super Nintendo. <laughs> it sounds a little unbelievable, but I've seen it. It's very real. I I seen it. <laughs> so I've seen it with my own eyes. It's crazy. I didn't believe him, but it is complete. I've never seen anyone else do it. So that's gonna be like the how tos so far. Obviously, there's gonna be more, but those are the first two we have planned. Uh, also in the works, Mike's gonna be doing a fighting game show. Uh, mostly revolving around Street Fighter, but basically covering a lot of a lot of things in the fighting game community, like tournaments, like major tournaments like Evo, stuff like that. And me and Mike have plans to go to Evo this year in July to cover it. So for Super Rad, so he's going to be doing that. He'll be talking about a lot of uh, online. Yeah, yeah, he'll be talking about a lot, a lot of fighting too. Yep, yeah. So it'll be mostly focused on Street Fighter, but... If I, there's any 3DS fans out there, that's something you'll definitely want to check out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because he, he loves uh, Super Street Fighter for 3DS, so... And he'll cover uh, the other... the console versions, too. But I can't speak for him. I know he's got a lot... He's been writing things. He's got a lot planned, but I have a feeling a lot of it's going to be around Street Fighter and the fighting game community, so... That'll be really cool. Um, there's no name for that yet. I, I don't know. He's he's working on that separately from me, so I'm not really sure. Um, me and Nick have an RPG show planned, where basically a lot of it's going to be vintage, well, older, retro, not vintage, I guess, retro. But I'm I'm going to be covering some of the newer ones, and Nick's going to be covering a lot of the older ones. So you'll see some classics, maybe ones you have never played or heard of, but being uh and the and the main ones too right yeah yeah for sure classics and just sort of hearing a one man two man opinion on you know yeah just reviews and you know exactly what we think of it uh no name for that either i mean these are all still in the works but we just kind of wanted to let you guys know like what we have for super what we have like up our sleeves for super ed like we want to branch out and do a lot of crazy stuff so Hopefully, with your guys' support, you know, you guys will really like it. Um, you guys have been great so far with subs on YouTube and views and 
Twitter and interacting on Facebook. So thank you guys so much. Like every single day, I, there's a new comment or whatever. So it's so great to hear from you guys. So yeah, we're totally gonna get a uh, pretty crazy with Super Rad. It's not just gonna be podcasts. There still will be the weekly podcast always, but we're really gonna be trying to launch a way bigger thing. So. With, with the podcast at the core. Yep, yeah, the podcast, that's what we started with, and it'll always be every single Thursday you can see a new one on YouTube. So that's why I always uh, tell everyone to subscribe, because every Thursday, check your YouTube, there will be a new episode up. So, yeah, that's basically what we have planned. We have some, uh, we got some other shows and other things planned, but, you know, when they the details flush out, obviously, we'll, we'll let you guys know. I know uh, Mark Rupert wanted to, he's getting a PVR also, which is something that captures video game footage. Uh, I know he wanted to do some newer games stuff, so that'll be cool. There's going to be a lot of variety, which is going to be cool. Yeah, so there should be something for everyone in terms of video games. So whether you, yeah, whether you like fighting games, you know, RPGs, newer games, older games, whatever. Seeing friendships end during yeah. the course of an NBA Jam game. <laughs> yeah, or when Mario Party gets busted out, check your friendships at the door, man. <laughs> that shit gets real. Probably WarioWare gameplay. Yeah, we're going to do a playthrough of WarioWare, which I think we might do for the 10th podcast. That might be like a video podcast of uh, four-player WarioWare, which is just going to get... All of this is tentative, by the way. Right, we have no dates or anything. We just wanted to keep you guys up to date on what's going on around here. We want to keep you up to date on the lack of dates. Yeah, right. <laughs> we want to get you guys stoked on things that are... <laughs> I'm sure video game fanboys are completely unfamiliar with the concept of a lack of dates. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, that's what's uh, going on around here. Um... Also, uh, next week we are going to have a review of Ready Player One, which is a fictional novel by Ernest Klein. Ernest Klein. Okay, I'm sorry. There's a sticker covering up the first letter of his name so I can tell. Um, Nick has read it. I have not. So we just kind of wanted to tease it up a little bit. I'm going to read it this week, so we're both going to be talking about it next week. Um, Nick, can you give like a, just a little tease of what it's about? Um, if you're a fan of 80s pop culture, video games, anything like that, or just the science fiction genre, it's definitely something you want to check out. As a standalone science fiction novel, it's totally cool, but what really makes it is how many cool references there are to... Like video just, games and stuff video like Video games, movies, the bands, some people really like that, it wasn't really doing it for me. Right on. But... Yeah, it's super, super cool. A lot of references to old, like, tabletop, like, D&D role-playing games. Awesome. And some early text video games on oh, like, Commodores. Yeah, Zork. You were saying they reference Zork, I mean. Oh, they more than reference Zork. Awesome. awesome. So, I enjoyed it a lot. I like to read. Um, it's pretty current. It, the first edition is was published in 2011. Right, so you can totally get this, like, at your local bookstore or the library, so... Um, yeah, I mean, it's called Ready Player One. Yeah. Uh, I'm really excited. What he was telling me about, I'm really excited to just dive head into it. So I'm going to try to just read it this week, and then we'll talk about it next week. So Yeah, or a, a little early on, you think they might get preachy, because it's a you know, dystopian future, and they're talking about a fuel crisis and things of that nature, and you're like, come on, do I really want to read this? But that... That, goes, get that all goes out the window pretty quick. They're just cool. sort of laying the framework for, you know, the futuristic world that it's taking place in. Cool, cool. Super stoked. All right, so yeah, expect a review of that next week. And then, yeah, we're going to start, I mean, anything video game related, we're going to do reviews of. Yeah, so. we're trying to switch it up a little bit. Yeah, for sure, yeah. We'll switch it up and stay the same at the same time, but yeah, just something broaden it, broaden it. Exactly. Couldn't say it better myself. So yeah, I'm really excited to pick this up. It looks like a great book. Um... Yeah, like you said, it came out last year, so after you hear our review, if you like it, it should totally be available at, you know, library, local bookstore, so. Alright, cool, well, uh, thanks for listening to part one of podcast number seven. I'm Tooth. I'm Nick. Stay rad. Get rad, but you should already be rad.